In this video, we're going to be comparing Typeform to SurveySparrow. What is Typeform? Typeform is a platform where you can create surveys and forms. What is SurveySparrow? This is a platform for omni-channel experience management. So you can do a lot more than surveys. Although you can definitely do surveys here, you can do a host of other things and we'll get into that in just a moment. Let's talk about Typeform, what they have, and the features. What I like about Typeform is how simplistic it is. It's meant to mimic a real conversation. So instead of being overwhelmed with tons of options in a form, it's very simplistic. And the designs to start using it, very easy. What about Survey Sparrow? This platform allows you to do so much. It allows you to scale into whatever you're trying to do. Let's go for a couple examples. I can have this as a survey or form for my business, but also in the features, I can have the white labeled surveys. So now I could use this as a software with a service, or because I have access to their API, I can also do a lot of different things with my platform if I'm creating my own software as a service, a SaaS platform, and the list goes on and on. So as we go through this comparison, I really want you to think about what do you need these platforms for? Are you looking to streamline your onboarding process and you're going to be just using it for forms? Or are you looking to also have other experiences with your business? Are you trying to have it um, for testing out an MVP, which is a minimal viable product? And you can do that with Survey Sparrow. As we go through this, let me know in the comment section down below, what are you looking to do with these two different types of platforms or what are you using for your business? What are you going to be doing? Let's now look into the behind the scenes when you log in and let's look at the two different experiences. We'll start with type form. When I wanna create a new type of form, what I do is I click on the template gallery and for me, I'm using this because number one, it's already put together the way that I like it it, I don't have to think so hard with it. These are a lot of the options that I would have ch chosen anyway. So the template allows me to get to up, up to speed a lot quicker. If I go to research or if I go for quiz, whatever, it already has a, a template for me. And then once I see the template, I can preview it. And then I can use this template and change out what I, what I want. Also too, it gives me options of what I could be using it for, such as if I wanna do logic jumps, calculator, et cetera, et cetera. But it also tells me the level of what, what kind of plan do I need? Do I need to upgrade it to get certain features? And the list goes on and on. But I like the preview options and now I can just see, do I like the flow of this? Is this something that I, I can just easily use? Also too, when I start with a template, it already has the design and the colors that complement each other. And if I need to change it to be on brand, I can, but I like how it already has the combination for me if I'm gonna be using the template gallery. Let's move over to Survey Sparrow. What does it look like? When I'm about to begin with Survey Sparrow, I'm going to be given a couple different options. For example, I'm going to be able to look at the classic surveys, similar to the type form but also I can also do chat surveys. Now, the reason I, I like chat surveys in going through this is, it depends on my demographic and what I'm doing, but a lot of times if someone is trying to talk to customer service or they're trying to have an experience where they're talking to a person, chat surveys, they're going to be a higher conversion rate. There's going to be more interaction because of the format, especially if you make it engaging using GIFs and things like that, you can do a lot with this. Also too, depending on the plan that you get, you can also uh, have a, an MPS survey. And this allows you to start increasing customer, customer loyalty and grow your business with this feature because you can start seeing how, the, how your customers or potential customers are liking your service or product, but also it allows you to have analysis and, based on their answers so you can do a lot more with that data to pivot and do things like that. Also too, this is interesting. They have an offline mode. And so you can have it as an offline surveys for a kiosk mode. This is a game changer because if you're 
if you're trying to create an experience for users that are in an area that internet's not as uh, prevalent or it goes on and off, or again, it, it just, you want the flexibility of having something, having an offline mode, this can allow you to mimic different apps that you wanna do that has offline mode as well. What do I mean? If I am thinking about creating an MVP, a minimal viable product, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to use a no-code app or even code an app where I would need to have an offline mode. I could replicate this with Survey Sparrow, check how people are using it, and then from there decide if I want to build out an MVP using something like AppSheet or AppGyver or something like that that has an offline mode. So again, there's a lot of things that you could be doing with this as well. The last thing is the 360 survey, um, 360 degree survey. And this allows you to have a comprehensive view of what's going on in your business or for your customers or your employees and all of those things. And it's, excuse me, it says of your employees. So you could use it for that. Before you make a decision and decide which one you want to go with, I would write down on a piece of paper or, or you know, open up a Google Doc or something and write down what are the exact things that you're looking to do? What kind of integrations are you looking for? What kind of features? And then what I would do is go and look at some of the things that Typeform has and then Survey Sparrow. For example, if I'm looking at very specific integrations, okay, I can check if Typeform has that. If I'm looking for specific template designs or workflow, okay, check both platforms. If I'm looking at Survey Sparrow and I'm thinking about, I want to do, I want to use this for my agency. I want to offer this as a software with a service. Now I can be doing this because this is white labeled. If I have something where I'm working on my own micro SaaS, or I'm going to be doing something as a, with an app in the future, I can have API access. And if I'm looking for that experience, Survey Sparrow has that for you. Again, look at what you're trying to do for your business. Then go in and decide which one's best for you. In the comment section down below, let me know what you're working on and questions what, what questions you have and we'll address them. We'll be making more videos in the future if you like this kind of content. And again, focus on your business and what you're looking for. I'll see you in the next video.